Now we're chatting to Joe Seegers, who's the Gauteng Regional Manager of Protea Hotels. Joe, welcome to studio. Uh, we're going to be chatting to you about, about value hotels. And, and let me just set this up a little bit. Um, as somebody who's traveled through Europe and done it on kind of 40 euros a night staying in relatively nice hotels, I tend to look at a lot of the, the places to stay in South Africa and think, wow, we're, we're actually quite expensive given our, our sort of, I suppose, budget rand. Um, and uh, and what, so what I wanted to chat to you about was, was the basic concept of value hotels. Is there value in hotels in South Africa? And, and if so, how do you find it? And what, do you, what are the things you, you look for? I mean, why, why are our prices generally perceived to be so high? Or, or are they, in fact, higher? Do you, do you disagree? Well, we need to... We, we need to look at, um, obviously, from a, from a value add or proposition, when customers are out um, looking at, at what value adds hotels have to offer, um, they, they get direct benefit from that. So customers or our guests do need to go onto websites like prototels.com and, and go look and, and see what, what value adds hotels offer within specific market segments. So, right. you know, if, if you're a backpacker and you're going to arrive at the front door of the African Pride Marrow's Arch, it, it's, not, it's not your product. Right. Um, but then, you know, Nowadays, with social media and, and the ability to just go online, pop onto prototels.com and go and look for what, uh, what promotions or immediate you know, offers are available, go and look and you'll, you'll find them quite easily and quite quickly. Okay, so I mean, you, you're focusing quite strenuously, obviously, on the, on the value things because this is, this is where you're targeting. But I mean, would you, would you agree that in general we are that little bit more expensive in South Africa for, for hotels? In um, I wouldn't say so. I mean, if you look at um, how, how domestic travel has increased uh, you know, progressively os over the last few years, um, if it was, that, that wouldn't be the case. And right. uh, we are seeing a lot more of the domestic market traveling locally. Um, South Africa has a lot to offer. Um, and many times, you know, sadly, we don't even realize what it has to offer. So the domestic market is definitely on the increase. Um, you know, many hotels around the country are seeing a, a huge jump in, in, in the local market coming to visit. I suppose that's a, that's a good thing in the long run. Um, because we obviously, we built a lot of hotels in South Africa around the World Cup. And, and if you go through Central Santon these days, uh, it's basically just hotels at the moment. Uh, is this a sustainable thing going forward? Are we gonna Are we gonna see? Um, you, you mentioned Santon. I mean, Santon is the richest square mile in Africa. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and given that, um, you know, its uh, um, occupancies obviously, you know, in and around 2010 um, did take a bit of a knock shortly afterwards. But um, but that being said, we're seeing it balancing out very nicely. Um, you know, it's already four years since 2010. Um, and four years is a long time, and, and a lot has happened since then. So, you mm -hmm. know, occupancies have stabilized. They have slowly increased again, uh, you know, over the last few years since 2010. Um, and uh, you mentioned Santon. I mean, um, I think it's, it's great that we see, you know, the big international brands, you know, right. situated all in and around Santon. I mean, it just goes a lot for us as a country and, and showcases what we have to offer, not just for us, but, you know, as a, as a gateway into the whole of Africa. Right. Well, the Protea uh, Hotel in Santon specifically is actually one of my, my favorite locals because I had a friend of mine who used to be the food and beverage manager there. and uh, uh, so, so the food and things are great there. Um, that's, that, I think, is a good example of, of a, a value-added product in its, in its market. It's, uh, it's offering quality hotel with great breakfasts and, and things. Correct. Um, um, yeah. uh, Wi-Fi being another one. Um, we always tend to say, you know, we were in the bed pillow coffee and Wi-Fi business. Um, you know, uh, we focus on those quite heavily. But then again, you know, like looking from value perspective, you look at our property, the Proto Hotel Balalaka in Santon. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if you're traveling in and, and staying at that property, it's close to the car train. So literally, you know, you're, you're, you're a few minutes from the hotel. You don't have to pay exorbitant transfer costs, you know, in shuttles from the airport as an example. Um, and that's just one little example of a value add that gets added in a property. So it's, it's centrally located. Um, you know, you could easily, you know, if, if your offices that you're visiting are close by, you could take a walk. Um, the hotel itself, you know, the size of the room, if you need to, and you're a corporate and you're traveling in, it's the size of the workstation, the desk space, um, you know, the speed of the internet, um, how fast it can download, what is the cap on the internet, are you able to, you know, I guess, or get uh, half a gig or 500 megabytes free internet today. Okay. Um, and that's more than enough and sufficient to, you know, go yeah. online, um, you know, download your mails, listen to Ball's radio, um, <laughs> mm. um, you know, and, and that's just a couple of, of the value adds that we, we offer. Okay, so what are the things people should be looking for? And, and are these the things that, that hotels are putting on their website? Do they, I mean, do, for example, Protea have that they offer 500 megabytes a day on, 
on the website? We do, okay. and it's it's not just it's also on social content, but not just just on uh, on on our prototels.com landing page, but also you know through social media content, etc. Facebook, um, you know our Twitter handle, it, it it gets mentioned very often. I guess get told, especially okay. when they call in. Our reservation staff and our team are very well trained. Um, you know, to, to take a call, to, to listen to a call and understand what the caller's needs are. Um, you must remember there's a lot of different market segments out there. So all the different market segments have different needs and we need to align our products to what these, um, to what these needs are of our customers and our guests. So we do, we, we, we well trained in um, expressing ourselves to the customer and identifying what their needs are and then making sure that we communicate it quite clearly. I suppose the message here is that people must stop, if they're looking for something value, they must stop looking purely at I'm staying there for a night. They must look at the stuff that comes with it. As you said, you know, things like uh, central location and saving the money on your, on your taxi fare, uh, those are things that people wouldn't usually consider when they're, when they're booking a room. Um, what other things would you suggest? So we've got, we've got kind of a central location. We've got, uh, as you said, uh, Wi-Fi. What other things would you suggest people look for that may not be mentioned initially on the, uh, on the initial offerings from travel agents? I th I th again, it depends on the market segment. So, you know, if you're looking at a corporate, um, a, a corporate guest, does the hotel offer facilities that um, are aligned to th their needs? So a 24-hour reception desk, is there somebody on handle um, or on hand 24 hours a day to assist in printing a document? Or if, you know, your email address is down, can somebody help you send something out? Um, you know, again, we mentioned the size of the workstation, the mini bar fridge, um, you know, uh, any complimentary services that come with it and within the minibar fridge, you know, so that a customer or a guest can work, um, you know, throughout the night if need be, you know, right. do they have a backup generator, you know, that if they are working uh, at two, three o'clock in the morning and the power goes down and, you know, you've got a big presentation to do the next morning, are you going to sit, you know, without power to get your work done? Um, and that's a corporate market. I mean, from a family facility right. perspective, um, you know, kids, let's, as an example, use Proto Hotel Kruger Gate. If a family's phoning in and going away to the bush for a night, um, what are the facilities around the safety and security of, of kids? Um, you know, um, kids in particular like to be kept very busy. Um, it's a number of short stories that make up a novel for them. So, you know, they want to play a round of putt-putt, but immediately 20 minutes later be on a tennis court, and immediately 20 minutes later, you know, we offer a kiddies walk, um, you know, an experiential walk for kids at, 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 at Kruger Gate. And that's just a couple of examples. Kids need to be kept busy. And when, when, when the customer phones in and asks, you know, what is there for my kids to do, we should at least have, you know, 20 key points that we can mention to our customers about what there is to do. Well, obviously, you're quite, um, quite positive about where the kind of growth in the industry is going and you feel that domestic uh, things are growing in this country and that there's future for even more hotels and bigger hotels. Is that the future that uh, Protea is moving into? Is there a plan to develop further for an increasing domestic market? Without a doubt. I mean, we, um, on the 1st of April, joined the Marriott fold, so we, we became part of the Marriott family, um, and uh, locally and throughout Africa, there, there's a huge amount of opportunity going into the future. I mean, um, if we look at the interests within Africa and, um, you know, um, the amount of brands that are opening up in numerous countries around Africa, it's just the potential is enormous, and, and I don't think we, we always see it, um, you know, but Thankfully, I get to travel a fair amount in, right. in, in my career, and I get to travel throughout Africa. And, um, you know, just to see the amount of emphasis on growth and, and where it's coming from. And, you know, even some of our local brands, including Proto Hotels, that are opening up throughout African countries. It's just, mm -hmm. it's phenomenal to see. And I think, you know, the prospects are huge going into the future. Good. Okay, well, if you have any questions for Joe, please just tweet me at Warren R. Comedian or at Balls Radio. You can let us know. Is there anything you want to know? Joe's here. Yeah, he's got some, uh, he's looking eager to answer all your questions about your experiences at Frontier Hotels or in general how you track down a, a good hotel, what the things you, you need to know are, where you should be booking, what times of the year maybe. Let us know. We want to hear from you. We're back. We're talking to Joe Seegers from uh, Protea Hotels. And we've got a couple of questions, Joe. Hopefully you're, uh, you're ready for these. Um, some of them are even sane, uh, which, is, which is, I think, a good start. All right. Uh, Leon has said that he'd like to, like to hear about the benefits of your pro card. This is something I've, I've not actually even heard of. So, uh, um, yeah, pro card, it, it's a benefits card offered within Proteo Hotels. Um, it comes in, uh, in four, four different tiers or classes. We've got uh, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Um, bronze is issued complimentary to guests on arrival. Um, and then silver 
uh, has a different range of, of, of benefits according to gold, according to, to platinum. So um, and, and a guest who arrives at any of our properties will be offered uh, a complimentary bronze pro card. Um, and uh, uh, what a guest has the option of doing is basically on every stay, um, a proportion a proportion amount of that stay goes, um, goes back to the guest. So okay. um, they accumulate points. Um, and over a period of time, uh, points can be redeemed um, back into any one of our, our, our pro hotels throughout um, South Africa. Right, so that you can buy nights accommodations and that's Correct. It, food um, and... Um, yeah, and, 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 and the, the, the reward back varies. So on, on uh, bronze, uh, it starts at 5% and it works its way up um, through the relevant categories right up to 10%. So on every stay, I mean, if you're, if you're a gold member, um, uh, gold cards are purchased. Um, but uh, you basically can put 10% of your stay back into into your own or, or benefit fund. And then, you know, at the end of the year, when you're planning a holiday with your family, you can uh, use those points to redeem at any property throughout South Africa. So mm. you can book a holiday for your family at Prototel and Schlanger Ridge and go and spend, you know, a right. week down on the coast, depending on how many points you've, you've managed to accumulate. So it's a relatively simple process then. There's nothing massively complex about it. Okay, all right, well, there you are. Um, and the other one is your fire and ice hotels. What's the, what's the concept? People want to hear about that. What's we, we, have, uh, we have two core brands in, in Pride Hotels called the African Pride Hotels, which is our exclusive collection of, of five-star um, product, um, country houses, game lodges, hotels, um, that offer superior um, uh, accommodation facilities and services. And then our second uh, core brand is Pride Hotels, um, and Proto Hotels offer a diverse, diverse range of um, uh, accommodation in the three and four star segment. Um, but within the Proto Hotels brand, what we refer to is our lifestyle brand, which is Fire and Ice. Um, Fire and Ice started back in about 2006, I think it was, um, at our first property in Cape Town. Um, and then three years ago, we opened up our second property um, in Johannesburg in the Melrose Arch precinct called Proto Hotel Fire and Ice uh, Melrose Arch. And we're currently underway in building our third property in the Fire and Ice Stable in Menlin, in Pretoria. Okay. Um, and we like to refer to it as Igniting Menlin soon. So that's due to open in April of next year. And what it is, it's just a slightly different take on, on uh, accommodation facilities. Um, it's, it's a little bit more young, experiential, a little bit more edgy, vibey. Um, it plays a lot on, on the five senses. So you know, whether it's the type of music that gets played, it's, um, you know, it's the service ethics and, and, and okay. how the staff interact with guests. Um, it's, it just carries that little bit more edgy sort of um, uh, energy around it um, that guests enjoy. Um, and again, no, no lack on quality. Um, we focus very heavily on, on quality that the, the product has to offer. Um, but that detracts maybe so ever so slightly in, uh, in certain areas of the property. We try and encourage our guests to come down and, and experience the lobby, um, the lounge areas. It's, you know, when, when we talk to our customer, we, we, we've, we've seen quite quickly that they like an area where they can, you know, in, mingle and, and relax and, and communicate and meet and whatever, you know, uh, they need to do. So that's kind of what the hotel uh, right. okay. focuses on. Well, there we go. Hopefully we've, uh, we've covered the questions. We've, we've gotten everything... Uh, Everything sorted here? Yep, you've done it. Congratulations. That's, uh, we've worked our way through it. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. And thank you very much for coming in. Absolute um, pleasure. It's been a real pleasure to have you. If you can be followed at Joe Seegers, they can harass you on Twitter if they've got any questions. Correct. And uh, obviously at Proteo Hotels is our, is our main Twitter handle. Okay, well, there you are. So at Proteo Hotels, at Joe Seegers, that's J-O-E-S-E-G-E-R-S. -E -E uh, on Twitter, both available for questions, both available for harassment. <laughs> and both available to follow, I would imagine, is probably the more important thing. Thank you very much, Joe. Thanks it's for It's been great having you in studio. Thank you very, very much. Balls.co.za. Visual Radio.